What is up everybody? The Hunter GT and today we are back at the school in Rocky Ford. We are going to be hitting it up right here along where these row of trees have been planted years ago obviously quite tall and along the road there. I figured the kids you know they like to play along the fences and play along next to the soccer field baseball backstop way back there in the far right corner. There's about three of them here. There's one right here, one over there, four of them, one way back there as well. So we are going to check out the soccer field here just for a bit. I'm going to be traveling to about three or four different parks and schools today while my wife travels around doing her nursing job. She goes from home to home and does home health nursing. Um, so pretty awesome and I'm going to just be tagging along with her going to all these 1800s towns around where I live in eastern Colorado. So should have a pretty good day, should have some cool stuff hopefully. We have the Fisher Gold Bug with the 11 inch DD coil from the Land Ranger Pro. And of course I have this little homemade connector here that takes the push in adapter from the Bounty Hunter Land Ranger Pro and converts it to the threaded screw on type. Keep an eye out for that video coming up as well and also a review on this Fisher gold bug. I know I have said a week ago or so that'll be coming in a few days but give me another week running a little behind on my videos uh, this last couple weeks some stuff has come up so that is taken care of and I am back on track so plenty of dig videos metal detector review videos and a how-to video on these little adapters but anyways enough babbling and enough yada yada let's find some stuff All right, guys, first find of the day, 2004 Zinc Penny. Surface find, basically. I mean, the detector hit it, but it just was dropped right at the tip of the trowel there. You can see where I just kind of brushed the grass over, and it was right there. I always like to show whatever I find, coins, zinc. I know a lot of people are like, ah, oh, zinc, but it's a penny, you know? It's a penny. All right, on to the next. No idea what that is there, but it has a cool little design on it. Rang up as an 83. Back of it's got a little tab. Feels pretty heavy. Probably made of lead or something. Pot metal maybe, I'm not sure, but it's kind of heavy. So, pretty cool. Kids toy, kids little, I don't know, something hung around their neck. I'm not too sure what it could have been, but kind of neat little design on it at the school. So something for a kid, I'm sure, toy or something. All right, more stuff. All right, guys, first copper of the day, 1971. So we're getting a little bit older. I have found, like I said, the 33 wheat penny. I want to say it was a 33. And so there is a 71. So we're getting older stuff. And hopefully we find ourselves some 60s coins and get down in that silver range coming up. A couple of city workers came up. They're getting ready to turn the water back on here. I guess they just talked to me. They're going to turn the school back on and make a soccer field out of it and come do it proper again. So that's good news. They're actually going to utilize the building, they said. The guy that owns it hasn't paid property taxes here. So they have put it back to the city and county property. Good stuff. So they didn't mind me being here. They were actually quite talkative about what I found. So pretty cool, guys. Anyways, 70... I want to say it's a 70, 71, yep, 71 copper. On to the next coin. All right, guys, 1985 dime, about, oh, three, four inches deep, ring up right at an 83, 84, I want to say. There it is, 85 dime, on to the next. Pressure loaded, do not remove. Oh no, it has been removed. Pressure loaded, do not remove. No idea guys, rang up like a coin though. Right down in there, just on the surface. I just had to move this brush. It's quite a bit of dead tangle and brush and it was just sitting there glowing bright red pressure loaded do not remove well whatever it was to try to get it to zoom in there come on there you go kind of neat who knows what it was off of fire extinguisher uh i don't know all right on to the next 
All right, guys, now we are in a small town called Ordway in eastern Colorado. And this is the park. I've hunted this before, found some old 70s, 60s coins, so hopefully some silver. And that playground is brand new. That was not here as of a couple months ago when I was hunting this park. So they got busy on that and that is brand new. So I'm not gonna detect that, but I am gonna detect around these trees, around this picnic table here that I set shop up at, and around over here by this table, horseshoe pit right here. They got a little thing where it looks like they play concerts or whatever next to the basketball court. So let's get at it. All right, guys, got a 1978 penny there at the Ordway Park here. And that is where I found it about three inches down. So that is my plug, my slit. I cut it sideways right there, flipped it up, retrieved the penny, put it right back down. You can never tell it was here. You can see right where it was if you're right up on it. But that is literally what your holes need to be looking like, guys. Um, if you're at a park. I know you watch my relic videos where I'm out in the middle of nowhere with my Samson shovel digging crazy holes, dirt flying everywhere. That's fine. Fill those in as well. Don't have to look perfect. If you're at a public park though guys, and I hate to preach, um, do your thing, you know, do what you like. But just remember, there's a bunch of us out here doing this. Try to make them look like this. Try to make them look, I mean you can see where it was right there. Try to make it look like that guys. All right. Best of luck. No metal detecting trip, <clears throat> excuse my frog in my throat. No metal detecting trip to the park is complete until you find the old English 800. That's right. There must have been some gangsters in this park. Well, I gotta be honest. I thought that was gonna be silver when it came out. It was pretty shiny for a coin in Colorado. Usually they come out red or black or brown because of all the mineralization, but that popped out looking like that. I saw it stick about four inches down right here. So not a bad depth for Colorado with our hard compact soil. It's been raining pretty heavily the last 24, 48 hours. So it's actually not bad digging, but 85, dag nabbit. Oh well, what can you do? Let's try to find one. Let's try to find a silver. Just found a 2012-er. Coin spill, I think, because it was right next to the other one, about six inches over. And I want to say there's one more, so let's find out. Well, that took me forever to find. You know what that is? That's the wheel of a lighter for the flint. That's the piece that you hit with your thumb to strike it. That took me like 10 minutes to find because it was four inches down and this thing picked it up. It rang perfectly like a quarter. Boy, I hunted a hunter for that. Ridiculous. And there is my lovely wife. She has just rolled up right there. She just gave you all the hello and the love you symbol. Boy, that's loyalty. My wife loves you all. That's loyalty, guys. We love you, YouTube viewers and subscribers. All right, that's it. I'm going to head to the next park. We are ready for her next patient. Let's go. All right, guys, got another dime here. A 89, nothing special. But see how this one turned really a reddish color there? Um, that's usually the way my dimes look out here, or quarters even, any clad, you know, dimes, quarters, even. nickels come out uh, greenish, different colors sometimes too. So green, red, we get the whole color gamut out here on the coins. The silvers pop up real nice and clean though. So we are at the park where I actually found my first silver. My 1943 Mercury dime was right over there by that group of trees. Um, we were in Sugar City. They got the little, cool little train car. It's a very small town called Sugar City. You can see the big Sugar City main or grain right I'm sorry grain is what it says and there's one right over the top a blue one over there over the top of that a yellow caboose yeah so pretty cool little park pretty tiny um, I hunted this with the sharpshooter 2 and the Lone Star Pro so now that I have the gold bug and the Land Ranger Pro I'm gonna come back with both of those and really hunt it out again I did find a tax token here and a silver so you know gotta come hunt it with a detector that goes a little deeper right right so 1989 dime right there pretty cool pretty cool 
I'll take the clad any day. It doesn't have to be silver to make me happy. I just love the hobby of metal detecting. It doesn't matter what I find, to be quite honest. Even the trash enthuses me still to this day. So 1989D from Denver. About three, three hour drive from here. That's where this one came. All right, guys, let's try to find one more before we head out. Well, still no silver, but an 81 penny. So I'll take it. I love copper. Even if it's new copper, I still love it. So it came right there about, oh, two inches down under that little flap there. So pretty good, pretty good. All right, guys, probably going to be wrapping it up here pretty soon. Um, probably one more coin, hopefully, before the wife gets here. So just about one more. Let's go find it. Let's go find that last bad boy.